Now, as 1 p square minus as 2 p square equals to d square plus y plus d by 2 whole square minus d square plus y minus d by 2 whole square equals to 2yd or s2p minus s1p s2p plus s1p equals to 2yd or s2p minus s1p equals to 2yd plus s2p plus s1p equals to 2yd by 2d equals to yd by d. Therefore, s2p equals to s1p equals to d. For a bright fringe at p, yd by d equals to n lambda, where n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, or y equals to n lambda d by d, when n equals to 0, y naught equals to 0. The central fringe is bright. When n equals to 1, y1 equals to lambda d by d, first bright fringe. When n equals to 2, y2 equals to 2 lambda, capital D by small d, second bright fringe. Distance between two consecutive bright fringes equals to fringe width omega equals to yn plus 1 minus yn. Therefore, omega equals to n plus 1 into lambda capital D by D minus n lambda capital D by small d equals to lambda capital D by small d. For a dark fringe at P, yd by capital D equals to n plus 1 by 2 into lambda where n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, or y equals to 2n plus 1 into lambda capital D by 2d. When n equals to 0, y dash naught equals to lambda capital D by 2d. First dark fringe, when n equals to 1, y dash 1 equals to 3 lambda capital D by 2D. Second dark fringe, and so on. Distance between two consecutive dark fringes equals to fringe width. Omega equals to y dash n plus 1 minus y dash n equals to 2 into n plus 1 plus 1 into lambda capital D by 2D minus 2N plus 1 into lambda capital D by 2D equals to lambda capital D by D. Thus, all fringes, whether bright or dark, are equal in width. To find the wavelength of light, lambda equals to omega D by capital D. Lambda is generally expressed in angstrom units. A. 1 angstrom equals to 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Comparison of intensities of maxima and minima. If I1, I2 are the intensities at the observation point due to two separate sources of disturbance, then I1 by I2 equals to A1 square by A2 square, where A1 and A2 are the corresponding wave amplitudes. However, in the case of interference, 
the amplitudes at maxima and minima are A1 plus A2 and A1 minus A2 respectively. I maxima, I minima at the intensities at maxima and minima respectively. Therefore, I maxima by I minima equals to A1 plus A2 whole square by A1 minus A2 whole square equals to A2 square A1 by A2 plus 1 whole square by A2 square A1 by A2 minus 1 whole square equals to A1 by A2 plus 1 whole square by A1 by A2 minus 1 whole square. Put A1 by A2 equals to R amplitude ratio. Then I maximum by I minimum equals to R plus 1 by R minus 1 whole square.